Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And on the menu today is live action from Liga. It's Strasbourg against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's how Strasbourg will line up. Well, when you play in a 3-5-2 formation, the position of the wing-backs is key. If they drop too deep, you can't dominate possession. And if they play too high, you leave the centre-backs exposed. They have to get the balance right. Well, no stopping him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Oh, what a top-notch pass. It could be for Mbappe. Well, it was close to the target, but close isn't good enough, really. Magnificent challenge from Danilo Pereira. He's in here. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Trying to pick out a teammate. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Couldn't keep the ball. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Marco Asensio. Mbappe. Oh, he's through here. A goal to give them a 1-0 lead. An excellent value for that advantage, you've got to say. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a player he is. One nil, then. Sizoko. Delane. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw in. Can he play it in? And in a perfect position to cut it out. Counter attacking chance. And passing it through. Oh, could finish. Terrific block there. And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Omega. Kono Muani. Mbappe. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? 
Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp, the movement from the front players has been excellent, and the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Ferreira. Kylian Mbappe. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Corner given to PSG. Can someone get on the end of this? And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So on with the game. Much to admire about PSG, who look as though they're really in the mood. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. That is that for the first half here. And on the evidence of what we're seeing in this match, Kylian Mbappe is a striker at the peak of his powers, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, you won't see too many better performances than this. He's been an absolute menace to these defenders today. And, of course, he's taken his goals really well. So the second half is underway. And really, it was a dizzying performance from Paris Saint-Germain in the first 45. What a magnificent pass. But he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. And time for the change now. Oh, great vision. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Kono Muani. Well, that one has promise. Pereira. Mbappe. On to Dembele. Chance for Dembele. Oh, did so well to deny him. Delane. Jesse Demangue. Showing a real will to win the ball. opportunity looking for someone to play it to and there is the goal to make it a hat-trick excellence in finishing there for all to see well here's the replay he's done well to get his head up pick out a teammate and from that sort of range you'd be shocked if Mbappe missed out he just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Good weight on that pass. Well read to win possession back. Jesse Dimangue. Teammates available, and a good-looking ball. Really good diving save. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And the short option preferred. 
He fancies it. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Corner given. Playing it in. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Marco Asensio. Gonzalo Ramos. Oh, they have it again. Ten minutes to go then. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be. Well, he's been forced out of play this time. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Mbappe. There to take it away. Great ball over the top. Gonzalo Ramos. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Well, taking into... And he's broken free. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and the timing of the run is just as good. As for the finish, it was never in doubt. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.